what was the challenges of their defensive line tonight that you guys looked at? Um, they're just it's a talented bunch and it's a very disciplined bunch. They're they're very they're very good at what they do and what it came down to is we we just failed to do the little things right. Whether it was our set lines, our tech, where our where our eyes were, where our hands were, we failed those little things. And when you play really good defensive lines or really good defensive teams, period, or really any team, when you fail to do the little things right, it's going to be a lot harder than what it should be. I know it's tough to prop up the opponent sometimes, but is that are they an example of what? Nebraska needs to get to, or did you see that kind of in the way they, they play tonight? Um, and that's that's the they're exactly where we're going to be. And I fully believe that under this staff, with this group, with these guys, we're fighting to be like a team like that. I'm plain and simple. That's why they're one of the best teams in the country year in year out because they're good at what they do and they're really good at what they do. And honestly, um, that's where we're going to be. I know that's where we're going to be because. No one on this team is a quitter. No one, no one, no one here is even allowed to even think that. We're a team that's going to fight, and we're going to fight till we're established to where we need to be. Matt, you guys lost by only five in Columbus last year. What, what was the difference between that game, that fight, and, and tonight? I, I, I really couldn't answer that. Whatever it was, I, I, I know we practiced our ass off. We worked hard. Um, whatever it was, it just we weren't clicking quite as well as we were when we went out there last year, plain and simple. Um, we got to hold on to the ball, and we got to give Adrian a lot more time, and we got to make we got to we got to start controlling the, the trenches on both sides of the ball. I mean, that's where we got to really start priding ourselves across the board. Um, and it really comes down to is now. Now it just shows the emphasis of how important just all the little things are across the board. I mean, this one hurts because we know where we're heading, we know where we're going to be. It hurts a little bit, but there's that 24 hour rule. So as soon as it hits Sunday, get over it because now we're on to the next week. And plain and simple, we're going to keep fighting, keep attacking, we're going to make Nebraska the way it was and, where, and the way it's going to be. Captain's choice tonight for you guys to just talk or cross make that play? Uh, I think it was um, well mutual. I don't think too many guys really wanted to talk, so we figured we'd just kind of take the little bit of it. You, you had to face Chase Young uh, out there quite a bit. What kind of a challenge was that? Uh, it was a hard challenge. He was a really good player. <laughs> um, I mean, he's, he's a guy that. He, his, his strengths are really my kind of weaknesses, it's attacking my edges. I'm a better power blocker than I am a speed rusher, which is awesome. Honestly, I, I, I didn't come here to play, you know, nobodies. I came here to face people that are, you know, the top-rated guys, the best guys in, the, in our in our league. And I mean, that's that's why I love about Big Ten football is it's a test. It's going to always be a test. And no matter what, if you're Whatever your whatever your struggles are, you got to make sure you're honing in on them and being the best you can be with them. Otherwise, it's going to be it's, it's going to be hard. And I, I love that. I, I always I love facing people like him because it's a challenge, and I, I I love challenges. I've never once wanted to walk away or shy away from a challenge. So I was, I was I'm very excited to have the chance. Matt Adrian hasn't had many nights like that since he's been here. Do you do anything? Uh, just keep going. I mean, can't be perfect every single night. I mean, he's not, not nothing in my mind or opinion of him has ever changed. I mean, I know who he is. I've seen what he can do. He's a hell of a player. And honestly, some of that is on us as an O-line. We got to give him a better pocket. And we got to be more. We got to be more dominating in the in the line of scrimmage. And so, I mean, honestly, I'm fine with putting all the failures on, on the old line, plain and simple, because that's where we should bear. We should be the group that um, takes accountability for all all failures, because why not put it on us? What was it like to run some of the, I call traditional Nebraska plays and see those have some success there and not their second drive of the game, third drive of the game? It was fun. 
I mean, I, I love that kind of football. I mean, just running downhill and just trying to smack someone. I mean, it kind of plays right into my wheelhouse, so it was, a, it was a lot of fun to kind of get some of those plays and get a little feel for them. I know you guys just look week to week, but you have two West opponents the next two weeks before the bye. Um, how critical is that you know, for this, this team and this program and building and all that? Same as any league. I mean, uh, any game you come come across, it doesn't matter who you're playing or what you're playing. You got to be ready to attack it. And I mean, it just comes down to we're ready to fight. You know where we want to be, and we know where we're gonna be. So week by week, and whatever whatever our opponents are, it doesn't matter. We've, we're ready to attack. And we're gonna fight until the very end. Good. Open that. Thanks. 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 Thanks.